was a, is a little more different. Um, I began mine, uh, my career uh, in the Canadian Armed Forces. And then I made a few more stops along the way before I became an independent advisor. I've been proudly with IFB for just about 20 years now. Uh, I went, I got licensed, I opened up my own shop. I didn't work for anybody else. I started out as an independent. Found IFB one day, and I've been a IFB member ever since. I've been on the board for six years now. Currently, I'm the treasurer uh, of the IFB. Um, so I find it extremely important that independent advisors uh, come and join uh, the IFB family. We do uh, everything that we do on IFB is for independent advisors to make sure that our voices are heard at the tables with the regulators that we have input, uh, that we are seen as a viable, acceptable, knowledgeable group of industry professionals. Um, so with that, we have one other announcement I'd like to make this morning, uh, and it is with great pleasure that uh, uh, I would like to announce to everybody that Susan Alm Alameg, she is our Director of Policy and Regulatory Affairs at IFB, has just recently been appointed to the Board of Directors for Clarity Alliance Foundation. Now, for those individuals who don't know, Clarity's mission is to, to support transitioning regular forces, reservist members of the Canadian Armed Forces by providing or assisting in their pursuit of meaningful employment opportunities in the Canadian financial and capital markets. So they are primarily trying to transition uh, ex-military uh, reservists, uh, regular force reservists, uh, into the possibility of the financial services industry and capital markets. So uh, I would really like to congratulate Susan on that, and IFB is looking forward to working with Clarity to introduce veterans to the rewarding career in the financial services. So we think it'd be a good fit. Moving right along, it is with great pleasure that I introduce our next speaker. His name is James O'Connell, uh, Humania Insurance, Inc. G uh, James joined Humania Insurance in November of 2018 as a sales representative for Ontario and Manitoba. Mr. O'Connell has experience in the financial and insurance industry and financial consulting, and as well as business development. Mr. O'Connell has a Bachelor of Commerce degree from McMaster University, as well as a postgraduate certificate in alternative dispute resolution from York University. He is also life licensed and has the professional titles of CIM and Wealth Management Essentials. Mr. O'Connell is a talented, now you guys have to keep him on top of this. He is a talented public speaker with highly developed interpersonal skills and has great abilities and ease in training and knowledge sharing. So with that, I would like to welcome James. All right, am I on? I am on. Morning, everybody. Ooh, that was sad. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, that's so much better. Not normally the way that I start my presentations, but just given the talk of reservists and Canadian Armed Forces and this being Remembrance Week. Is anybody here a veteran? Would you mind standing up for me? Besides me, gentlemen here in the back. Either which way, I wear a poppy. My, both my grandfather served. For anybody who has served in the past, maybe a little bit embarrassed to stand up here, thank you. I genuinely appreciate it. Beyond that, as far as Humania is concerned, hands up, who's actually heard of Humania? Just about half, that's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Because I always get that question, who is Humania? And where do you come from? A lot of people don't realize that the initial parent company of Humania has been around since about 1873. So just after Confederation. It was a co-op of Quebec-based farmers who realized that if they came together as a community to protect one another, that they would all prosper for doing so. And that was how Humania was born. Ellis Mutual, which is the parent corporation to Humania, was formed in the early 1900s. And when they decided to branch out of Quebec and go national and become completely digital, that's when they decided to rebrand as Humania, putting the human back in insurance. That's the idea. We have four platforms, and as the presentation is called, Digital Solutions for the Digital Age. 
Anybody want to tell me what this is? Oh, come on, don't be shy. Somebody tell me what this is. Smartphone. Exactly. This did not exist 15 years ago. I mean, I remember Blackberries. And Blackberries couldn't do what this does. Beyond just being a communication device, it is your own personal computing hardware. It does so much more than what was ever possible 15 years ago. It makes you more efficient, allows you to stay in touch with your loved ones, and do business more efficiently. And that's really what I'm going to focus on today, because whether you have this, a tablet, or a laptop, you can make your business more efficient, so you can spend more time doing what you need to be doing, which is focusing on relationships and less on applications. So the first thing I'm going to talk about today is Hugo, which is really an abbreviation. It means Humania Go. It is, by far, the most intelligent software in the market right now. I stake my reputation on that. It is not just a product. It is an algorithm. It is a junior underwriter built into the background. So that when you're going through the application, that algorithm is talking with MIB. It is computing risk. It is trying to get you an offer as quickly as possible so that you don't have to do full underwriting if you don't need to. Which brings me to the whole point of why we do things the way that we do in the insurance industry of underwriting the way that we do. We do it that way because we've always done it that way. And as Blockbuster, you know, whether or not doing things the way that we've always done them is a good idea. Or that if you don't fall behind, that that won't have drastic consequences for you and your practice. Making insurance and making your practice more efficient and more technologically sound is going to help you, it's going to help your clients. The algorithm itself is highly advanced. Now, e-applications themselves have advanced hugely over the past little while, and not just with us, with other carriers. And I'm happy to say that a lot of the other carriers, too, have caught up a little bit in being able to offer that first 30% or so, that top 30 percentile, so 70 percentile, coverage because they're, you're young and fairly good health. But what if you go one step further? So not, they're okay, they're not in perfect health, but they're not bad either. Does that really warrant a full APS, blood, urine analysis? Sometimes, but why do that more often than you need to? With Humania, as long as you're 50 years old or younger, off, trying to get a million dollars or less in coverage, there are no required medicals. None. It's entirely based on that client and their circumstances. In terms of what we can offer, the minimum is 50,000 and can go all the way up to five million. Once you cross that million dollar threshold, yes, there is underwriting. It's still faster using a digital process than it is to fully underwrite using paper. And I'll show you that in a moment. Being that it's a fully underwritten product, of course it has no deferrals and it has no pre-exits. A lot of people think because it's such a simplistic process, you must have something in the background to protect yourself. How can you offer fully underwritten coverage that quickly without protecting yourself? The fact is that we do. Because we did the numbers and went back and checked. And believe it or not, 97% of the time, Clients tell the truth. The stuff they put down on their medical information and their history is actually true. So why not just price it in the other 33% as opposed to making everybody go through an APS? With us, you can offer a 10-year term all the way up to a 30-year term within five and five-year increments in between. We have a term to age 80, which is unique with us, and a term to age 100. The term to age 100 is exactly what it sounds like. Very basic, level pay for the rest of your life, pay out upon your death. The benefit with that is that the convertibility within those products, you always have a solution. There's always something there. So how do we do it that quickly? There's actually three steps. So let's talk a little bit about Hyperjet. Hyperjet is 15 questions. If you can get through those 15 questions, I don't need to know anything more about you. You're good. And that takes about 15 minutes. 
You're done, signed, sealed, delivered. Express. Express is a fully adaptive, integrated medical questionnaire. As you go through it and answer the questions, it's going to continue to ask additional questions for things that you have a history of and ignore things that you don't have a history of. So let's say, for example, one of the questions in the Express is, have you had an alcoholic beverage in the past 10 years? I'm going to say the vast majority of the people in this room have had an alcoholic beverage in the past 10 years. I mean, for me, it was yesterday, so. <laughs> but is that, does that make me uninsurable? Of course not. I mean, people drink. So the next question is, okay, has anybody ever told you that you need any help? Have you ever gone to rehab? No? Fantastic. How often do you drink? How much when you do drink? It's going to continue to ask questions until it is satisfied with the information that you have given and then move on to something like, do you like to do parasailing or hella skiing, stuff like that. Again, the algorithm is trying to get you an offer as quickly as possible, okay? If for whatever reason you can't, if you do get through all of that and the algorithm cannot make you an offer, then the application is immediately digitally transferred to our underwriting team and they go through a more traditional process. When I say more traditional, they look at the case, they look at the recommendations provided by the algorithm and either do order blood, urine, APS, whatever they need at that point to be able to make a decision. It's also important to know that Hugo can also make offers with mild ratings. 50% ratings are possible through the algorithm. Now the joke is every time that I get one of those and I get an uh, advisor calling me and saying, well, the algorithm gave 50%, like, are you sure? Can, can, can you send it to your underwriters? And I said, I could, but it would just be wasting your time and mine. It's 50%, I guarantee you. Because the algorithm doesn't make an offer that isn't 100% accurate. And if it can't, then it goes to an underwriter anyway. So, how often do people get approved using this process? About 65% of the time. And the vast majority of the time, why they don't get an offer is usually because the client had something in the background that you as the advisor were not aware of. Right? Oh yeah, I'm healthy. No, I'm not on any drugs. No, not a big deal. Oh, but I do travel to Congo every now and again for business. Is that a big deal? <coughs> Kinda. No? Maybe we need some additional questions on that particular front. It's things like that that get you caught. Or the and, right? Maybe you're a little overweight. And you're on a little bit of medication. And you drink a little bit. The ands start to add up. And then it's like, okay, no. We want to make sure we give you the best offers possible, but in order to do that, we need a little bit more info. Now, I'm sure you don't need to be a genius to figure out that equation. Time equals money, right? Your time is valuable. It's very valuable. So if I said to you that you can go from quote to application to enforce within the hour, does that not save you time? Does that not make term insurance more profitable for you? Of course it does. And why spend more time on something that is simple and easy? We're not talking about whole life and new well policies. We're not talking about estate planning. We're talking about, I bought a house yesterday and need coverage. Can you help me? Yeah, do you have an hour? Let's get it done. Non-face-to-face -face functionality. In the city, whoever's grown up here, because I have my entire life, who, who thinks that the traffic's improved a little bit? You know? No? Uh -huh. You mean that construction in the summer doesn't help? Yeah, no. Oh, and look at, I mean, I know we're in November, so we don't really want to talk about this. <laughs> but how many times have you had to cancel a, um, a meeting with your clients because of something like this? Right? Why cancel the meeting? Why not just do it over the phone or do a Skype call? Fully non-face-to-face -face functional. And of course, we have two seasons in this country, right? Winter and construction. You know, Toronto is an hour away from Toronto. You know, it's, it's a 
It's a great time trying to get from point A to point B. Point is, again, the whole thing idea here is about saving you time and making your life more 